Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This information is for entertainment only. I am not medically trained. Join me as I attempt to learn from GPT. Episode 12. Staging Systems and Their Clinical Relevance in Gastric Adenocarcinoma When discussing gastric adenocarcinoma, understanding the staging systems is crucial because they guide every aspect of managing the disease, from prognosis to treatment decisions. Staging systems for gastric adenocarcinoma help categorize the severity and spread of the disease. They are vital for planning treatment, estimating prognosis, and ensuring doctors worldwide speak the same language when it comes to patient care. The TNM staging system is one of the most commonly used methods to describe the extent of cancer. It provides detailed information by assessing three key components, the tumor, the lymph nodes, and any metastasis. The T in the TNM system stands for tumor. It assesses the primary tumor's size and how deeply it has invaded the stomach walls or nearby structures. The range goes from T1, which is the least invasive, to T4, which is the most invasive. Understanding the T stage is crucial as it helps determine how localized the cancer is and whether surgical removal is feasible. N, node. What it does is evaluate whether the cancer has spread to regional lymph nodes and to what extent. It ranges from N0, meaning no lymph node involvement, to N3, indicating high involvement. And why is this important? Well, lymph node involvement significantly affects the choice of treatment and overall prognosis. A. E, metastasis. What it does is indicate whether the cancer has metastasized to other parts of the body. With M0, there's no metastasis, and M1 indicates distant metastasis. This is crucial because the presence of metastasis often shifts the treatment from curative to palliative, focusing more on quality of life. Combining the T, N, and M categories helps assign an overall stage from 0 to 4, with higher numbers indicating more advanced disease. JGCA Staging System while similar to the TNM system, the JGCA staging puts more emphasis on the precise anatomical locations of affected lymph nodes, which is crucial in Japan due to the extensive lymph node removal often performed during surgeries there. Why staging is clinically relevant? Prognostication. The stage at diagnosis is a key factor in predicting outcomes. Lower stages generally mean a better prognosis and potentially curative treatment options. Treatment planning. For early stage cancer, surgery might be enough, possibly combined with chemotherapy or radiation. Advanced stages might need more aggressive approaches such as neoadjuvant or pre-surgical therapies to shrink the tumor first. Research and clinical trials. Accurate staging ensures that clinical trials are comparing apples to apples, essential for reliable results and advancing treatment options. Surveillance and follow-up. The stage helps determine how closely patients need to be monitored after treatment to catch any signs of recurrence early, especially in those at higher risk. Conclusion. The role of staging systems in evolving treatment approaches. Staging systems like TNM provide a framework that's integral not just for individual patient management, but also for the broader research community to develop and refine treatments. As our tools for detection and treatment improve, these staging systems evolve to incorporate new knowledge, ensuring they remain effective in guiding the fight against gastric adenocarcinoma. This dynamic process illustrates the importance of continual learning and adaptation in the medical field. Crucial points for anyone trying to understand the complexities of cancer treatment. Thank you for joining us for another Cognition Chunks. Please like and subscribe.